Troopers, welcome back. This is the second video of our Corsair, the A7A Corsair by Ravel, a 148th scale model. Uh, where we left off on the previous videos, if you hadn't seen that, go back, watch that, subscribe, you'll be able to get every update we have. We showed you we put in the rear stabilizers just to see them fit. Now we're actually gluing those in. So these are the rear stabilizers. I am putting a little bit of glue right here. This is some CA glue called Super Glue in the States. Real thin stuff. I'm letting it run down. That way I can fill in the cracks. Uh, you can do any method you choose. This is my model. I do it my way. Remember, do your models your way, however you want to do it. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what the critics say. Just do it your way. So here's the cockpit. We are painted that a nice ghost gray color. We are breaking off the canopies here. We're going to paint those Keep in mind, when I painted these, I did a little experiment. I wouldn't advise following it. I just want to see what would happen. So I tried painting the whole entire canopy here, primer, and then I painted the outsides black. And I used a toothpick to scrape away all the black. I did that for the top canopy and the front. It was quite atrocious, I should say. It didn't turn out how I planned. But I'm going to show you anyway, just so you could see maybe how not to do something. And here we go. We've got all that primer on. We're putting the black all around this. I would say probably using scotch tape might work a little bit better, especially, you know, if you want to do the inside, you know how sometimes that goes. That way you can make that gray on the inside or whatnot, however you want to do it. Going around the edge here, I know it's a little bit hard to see. We'll take care of that in the next video, so don't worry about that with better camera work. So here it is, just painting more black on here. This is the front piece. I did the whole thing as black, no masking. Like I said, bad idea. This is the top canopy right here, so here I am with that toothpick. Going along all the edges, we're scraping all this off. It was quite a chore. You see me going around the outline here. It came out decently. It just took forever and a day to do. Uh, left a little, couple of scratches on there, so then naturally you know, you'd have to buff those out. So that would be a pain, so it's probably just easier to use mask and tape. Once we took care of that problem, we glued this on. So, you know, I have my crystal clear right here, which almost just like a regular paper glue, you could say, the white stuff. Put everything on here. Uh, I had trouble getting the canopy to fit. It didn't want to go on quite right. I don't know why. Maybe something in those grooves. I didn't spend a lot of time with it for the uh, box ends there, as you can see. So I just kind of I put everything in just the best I could do it. And you will see once we get that set up here in a few seconds what it actually looks like. So we're going to put that on. You see I got that painted kind of like a white color. I totally destroyed that canopy, cracked it. It is what it is. Um, I tried fixing it, sanding it 15,000 times because actually I use it acetone to try and clean some of the stuff off bad idea don't do it so here we are we're putting on the masking tape the proper way to do it I should say at least for me and probably a lot of other modelers this is what they would do is use masking tape or something else maybe some yellow tape that bends really easy so here we go now that this is set up and dried uh, you could see there that from the primer that I had put on where it was a little bit dirty it peeled some of that primer off and that was just you know to see kind of where my defects would be so that led me to doing this which is cleaning all these parts off with alcohol one more time even though I already washed them in the first place so when you say is it important to wash things uh, the answer is probably yes doesn't mean you have to do it this is how I did it uh, we're getting ready to prime here, so I'm just stuffing a little bit of piece of paper that I cut inside of that nozzle in the end there, because it's already painted, so we don't want to get anything on the inside of that. So I just mess it off. So this is the primer coat that we're putting on here. You want to make sure you get the front and the back, and my favorite saying, make it look pretty. Uh, as you know, I mean, I've already done a bunch of sanding for this already, so I didn't show you all that, but I'm sure you can figure out where some of the spots were, you know, right up along the top, all along the fins, along the wing edges and things like that so just make sure you get it good here's the left side of the plane with the fuselage and the tail oh look at that did a little bit of jump there so you don't have to watch all of it getting that tail rudder there and more of the wing we'll turn the plane over we'll get the bottom side so you see these wings right here uh, remember the whole bottom side of this plane goes a gloss white so you want to make it look good uh, get a gloss white that looks good as well I like the uh, acrylic that I have with 
Tommy up. It's a really good paint. It, it, it's really bright, so it does really good. So I'd say use some of that because the other stuff is maybe, you know, looks a little bit yellow. So here we go. We're spraying this. Make sure you get everything. This is still the original primer color that I have for airbrushing. Get all your cracks and your grooves. Go along here side on the wings. Get those cracks as well. Just finish this out like we're doing right here. Get those wheel wells really good. You can weather those if you like. I don't care what you want to do, how you want to do it. It'll look good in the end. So, I appreciate you so far for watching. I know this video might not be the most exciting, but you know, it's a learning experience for everybody so we could see where this model needs to be painted properly and where it doesn't need to be painted so much and where the mistakes can go and not go. So, we've got our missiles and our bombs and our sidewinders and all that good stuff, fuel tanks, whatever you want to call them. A bunch of them. So, you know, you have to primer those too. Uh, they are built in half, so if you want to do some sanding work and putty on those, do them. I don't remember if I did any on mine, but I wasn't too concerned about it. I've done enough bombs and missiles and all that stuff where sometimes you just want to do a model and not have to worry about little things, and it's not always the worst thing in the world to not have these done. So, as you can see right now, we're going over some of the missiles. We did a little bit of the landing gear just before. Getting this bomb taken care of right here. You see those little grooves up at the top. Those will go onto the pylon. It's kind of weird how it worked. But here we go. A little bit more primer. Get all of them. Those are old sidewinders as you can tell. They fit on the side of the airplane. You also have to get the rails for those which will get glued on later. And it has slots in there to put those on. So as you can see I got basically two gas tanks, two bombs, and two sidewinder missiles for this aircraft. So what this is, is the first light coat of gloss white. You can see it's a little bit different there than the primer. Real light coat, we're just going to spray it on. And as you can see, the more coats we put on, the thicker it will get. And it will look really good once we're done with that. So we're just lightly going around the wheel wells. We're going to go all the way around the bottom part of this plane. Remember the top does not get a gloss coat of white it goes a flat gall gray color so we'll mask that off later on because we're just trying to put the white on and once we put the gray on since it's a darker color it will hide that gloss white color when we want it to so just like that you know just go around it as i said here's the uh fuel tank we're going to paint that white another light coat do light coats everything first and that way you know you get a good bond with it that way and you can if there are still any imperfections at least you're not wasting good paint on there you can just kind of see where it's at so that's why i like to do i like to do put light coats and just go darker and darker or i should say heavier and heavier each time because if you're darker and darker you're using dark colors so here we got a sidewinder missile we're going to paint those you got two of those you see the other one blowing away there uh here's a, another bomb that we're doing light coats of white on that as you see just keep getting it like i always say you just gotta take your time and do these right i don't though so don't follow that but for you if you want your model to look better than mine do yours right uh so here we go just doing another bomb making them look pretty here we are we're applying the gloss white to the rudders as you can see right here a really 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 light coat at first you say it's just sewing in i'm going across a whole entire wing when i do this even though the rudders don't go across the entire wing i'm going to fill that in later with the flat gall color and by the way you won't even see that flat gall color here you will have to wait till the next video and watch that whole thing as well so you can see me putting on the gloss coat and whatever else that video may hold if you want to find out what's in it, you're going to have to watch it in two weeks when it comes out. So, we are getting some of the landing gear here, and the landing gear doors, and the missile pylons, everything on that bottom is white. White, 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 white. So, uh, make sure you get everything really good. Make it look pretty. Keep going around all the rest of the gear doors and all that good stuff. So, just do yourself a favor. Get this whole sprue while you're at it i mean it, there's a lot of parts on there you've got all your landing gear your doors and all that stuff remember that uh front landing gear 
when you put that together it goes in backwards so you got some work to do with that so uh, that's not going to be fun and we'll cover that a little bit later in the next video as well so subscribe so you can see that when it comes out in two weeks after this one on Saturday so here we are we're getting some more landing gear and some pylons that go onto the plane under the wings lots of gear pieces here there's like three or four per side and then the front landing gear you know it's got like one or two of them i don't remember so he, it, whatever the instructions call for or what the plane calls for remember to get front and back of these that way they look good because the whole underside of the plane as you can see it goes gloss white every pylon it goes gloss white and here you go just more pylons and more pylons missile rails good stuff so here we go we're putting on another coat of gloss white as you can see the colors really it's it's starting to come out here because we already put that first coat on and now we're putting on a second coat so you also have to get inside of that intake i can't remember the name of it they don't call it an intake it's called something else but it's an intake because that's where the air flows into and it goes for the engine so here we go go along the sides get the top of that get the back get your stabilizers and see how i'm just doing this going right along the edges uh, most of that paint should pass right up through we'll mask this plane off later on that way we can spray the other colors when you do mask it off make sure your paint's dried and it's cured i'm going to mention that a little bit later on because we had some peel off and stuff like that uh which isn't a good thing, but hey, uh, some things happen, so we learn from our mistakes and we can correct things. So, as you see, that color's getting a little bit more and more light as we spray it on. It's really starting to come out. And you can see my cutoff points here, you know, it's basically just above that intake. That's where we stop, because that's what the directions call for. Here we are trying to spray the inside of that. Hard to get. Here we go getting those stabilizer ailerons whatever you want to call those flaps painting those and like I said I go all the way to the side getting that tail fin best I can just the top part of it not a lot keep getting that side there you know you want to get the front bottom top sides left right up down above, above and below whatever term you want to use for it here we go second coat onto our fuel tanks we'll make these look pretty too so just keep going with your airbrush along these. You see there are two of them, two of each. There could be more if you wanted it to be, but yeah, you don't even have to put them on if you don't want to, whatever you feel like doing. My model, so I put on the bombs and missiles because they make them, so I had to do them. Here we go, here's one more. Second coat on here, and we'll do a third coat too. Maybe I will show you that, maybe I won't. Keep watching and you will find out, that's for sure. So here we go, getting the underside of this, getting the top side. Oh, finally switching to some bombs. I'm gonna paint those gloss white. I don't remember if they stay gloss white or they get a different color later on. I'm too lazy to find out for you at this point, so you're just gonna to have to deal with this commentary as is, uncut and unedited as it comes out of my mouth. So here we go, painting another Sidewinder missile with its white color. See my lovely glasses there. For those of you that ever have any doubt that I actually do these, because sometimes you don't really see my face all the time. But you can usually see my arms, and as you can tell, it's not hard to figure out who I am by my arms. Because yeah, as you can see, got a little bit of hair on them. Besides the point. So. Paint these bombs, paint these missiles, paint the sidewinders, make them look pretty as well. The sidewinder's rather thin. I think they only go one color and that's just white. But we're getting down to some fun stuff here. So we're gonna see the plane again. And here's the rest of that white coat that you can see me just slowly putting on all along the edge of that tank there. Intake, not a tank. And here you go, this is pretty much the final color. You see that white has finally started to come out. Getting the final color right here on the top of that tail fin. It looks real good, and as like I said, I did across the whole entire wing, because I know I'm gonna cover it up later. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put some black on the tip of that nose, so like I said, you won't see it. 
Hi, thank you for sticking by. We've got about six minutes left of this video. Uh, you get to see what we do next, so keep watching some more of it. We are getting the rest of this underside, as we say, spray, spraying that gloss white on there, getting that stabilizer, go along the whole base of this one last time. That color is really going to pop and show once we're all done with this. Three coats, I think, is enough for me. Maybe you want to do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. I don't care. This is my model. So, look, this means we are done putting the white coat on. Obviously, I've let it dry. We are masking this off. We're going to go around this whole entire edge. Uh, rule of thumb, when I used to do a little bit of construction, was if you don't want paint on something, if you're using a sprayer, you mask it off. It doesn't matter if you're spraying in front of you, whatever's behind you, mask it off because you will get spray paint everywhere. That stuff mists incredibly. Even though I remember when I first started using an airbrush, I didn't think it would get anywhere. This stuff goes everywhere, even on little light sprays. So, you know, some, just be careful. If you don't want spray paint on it, mask it off. So this is what we're doing. I masked all around the bottom there. Now I'm going around all the flaps. We're going to cut out the small little detail because there are small sections that will go that flat gray color. It's a flat gall gray. So you see, I picked off a little bit of paint there. Oopsie, not a big deal. But you will see some other spots where we do that when we're masking off. Uh, we're getting the left wing here. So we just did the right wing, of course. If we're getting the left wing, I put some tape on there. And then I realized, oh, look, there's a little spot we need to get. Peel off some tape right there. So that's one whole flap. So you see me getting this right here. Just be careful. It does have grooves in there, so you can at least know where your lines are that you have to cut out. Do a good job, take your time. You see some paint peeled off there, so either maybe it was a little bit dirty or I just didn't let it cure long enough. I'm gonna go with probably cure long enough because if you let things cure, it makes it a little bit harder and it doesn't come off as much, so that's a plus. We got our little yellow tape here, and I say little because yeah, it's kind of thin. See, I just press that razor down there and pop it right off. Do the same thing over here. Get all along this edge, you can put that razor right there. The knife, it'll cut right off nice and easy a little bit of editing there you even have to see all of it so you know just take your time that's my favorite saying take your time I don't but you should do as I say not as I do one of my favorite sayings somebody taught that to me a long time ago and it kind of stuck with me as you can see but it is it's a true saying sometimes if somebody says something you may as well do it even if they're not doing it because it's the right way to do things all right, so what we're doing here, I am going to cut out a whole big sheet of paper to put over this wing so it doesn't get any paint on there. It's easier than just masking it off, I feel, because paper is cheaper than tape. So I basically cut out the whole wing shape. We're going to put a little bit of tape right here. Then we will kind of fasten this piece of paper on the underside of the wing. You might have to bend a little bit to do it. Or you might have to cut it down to size a little bit more, but at least you have the basic shape of it. So that's a starting point. Get your starting points and you work from there. So as you see, we're fitting that in there. I'm going to use that one piece of tape to secure this piece of paper. That way it holds in place, and then we can run everything else to hold the paper down and just run a little bit more tape. It's kind of like, say, just doing the edges of stuff. And that's how I like to do it. So do it however you want to do it for your model because this is my model and we do it my way when I'm doing my model. All right, so we're going to get the right wing here. As you can see, I did the underside of the left wing. Same way as before. I do this one a little bit differently. I cut it down to size first before I actually have it on the wing. And you can see me just doing a little bit extra here. I put some tape on there ahead of time. That way I can just kind of join it up where I want on this fuselage wing section. And you can see it's a little bit better fit and you can just go around the edge with your tape you know i had that little you see fold in there because i just didn't cut it i just simply put it on and here we're just putting a little bit of masking tape on there that yellow stuff from tamiya i like it it works great they got about three different sizes and uh thicknesses i shouldn't say thicknesses but width width would be a better word so this here you see it's a big piece of paper i find it easier to put it on a big piece of paper like that run it all along this edge and be careful 
and that will mask off one side. We are going to cut this piece of paper down a little bit, run some tape carefully on the other side, flip it over, and that will be the masking for the bottom half of that plane so we can spray that flat gall color. Guess what? We've got a minute left to go. So you know what that means. Thank you for watching this whole video. I really appreciate it. If you want to see the next video in about two weeks, subscribe. That way you can get the latest update and it'll come right to your inbox if you have that kind of subscription set up in your emails. Don't forget to give me comments as you know I'm pretty quick to respond to those. I love the likes as well. Here we are masking off the tail fin. We thank you for watching. Have a good day. We will get the left tail wing. Actually, it's the right. It's a stabilizer. Anyway, thanks for watching this whole entire video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. We'll see you in about two weeks. So, here it is, the final piece of tape going on right here. As always, see ya.